With blackest moss, the flower plots were thickly crusted one and all. The rusted nails fell from the knots that held the pair to the garden wall. The broken sheds looked sad and strange. Unlifted was the clinking latch. Weeded and worn the ancient thatch upon the lonely moated grange. She only said, My life is dreary. He cometh not, she said. She said, I am a weary, a weary. I would that I were dead. About a stone cast from the wall, a sluice with blackened waters slept, and o'er it many, round and small, the clustered nearish mosses crept. Hard by a poplar shook all way, all silver green with gnarled bark, for leagues no other tree did mark the level waste, the rounding grey. She only said, My life is dreary. He cometh not, she said. She said, I am a weary, a weary. I would that I were dead. All day within the dreamy house, the doors upon their hinges creaked. The blue fly sung in the pane. The mouse behind the mouldering wainscot shrieked, or from the crevice peered about. Old faces glimmered through the doors. Old footsteps trod the upper floors. Old voices called her from without. She only said, My life is dreary. He cometh not, she said. She said, I am a weary, a weary. I would that I were dead. The sparrows chirp upon the roof, the slow clock ticking, and the sound which to the wooing wind aloof the poplar made did all confound her sense. But most she loathed the hour when the thick moated sunbeam lay athwart the chambers and the day was sloping toward his western bar. Then said she, I am very dreary. He will not come, she said. She wept, I am a weary, a weary. Oh, God, that I were dead. <laughs>